was once a time that I thought I was born in the wrong era. Like, hey, man, I, th- I would have did great in the 50s and the 60s or 40s or, well, mainly the, the, the 60s and 70s. But either ways, either ways, you know what? No, no, this is it. This is great. I couldn't be more grateful to live in any period but right here and right now. Watching the Bernie Sanders and the left and the, and the blue team and the Democrats just completely ravage each other. (laughs) And we sit right here at the precipice of cultural change. And it's really interesting to watch how, to watch the last gasp of identity politics uh, really start to like, really like, you know, struggle for those bubbles, you know? It's like the sonic, like the sonic countdown music is on. It's nerve inducing, it's nerve wracking. And and they're sitting there just screaming before those bubbles, man. And this is coming to us via Fox News. MSNBC's Joy Reid rips Sanders supporters for not backing Biden as privileged white voters. This is written by Joseph Wolfson. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But Joy Reid is someone I've blasted on this channel tons of times. She doesn't, she, like, she's a puppet. Everybody over there, like, it, like in the media, right? They're all puppets. And so it's just like watching, it's just like watching a puppet fight. It's like watching Team America, right? MSNBC host Joy Reid blasted ardent supporters of Senator Bernie Sanders for refusing to back former Vice President Joe Biden ahead of the 2020 election. There's this meme going around right now that's like, hey, yeah, so tell me why to vote for, for Biden. But don't mention Trump. The trick is you can't mention Trump. And it's an NPC. <laughs> it's the NPC face going from straight to angry. Like, oh, like, yeah, it's really outside of mentioning Trump. There's no reason. I'm sorry. Like, shit, is, this shit was over before it began. Following his campaign suspension last week, Sanders joined Biden on his podcast on Monday and offered his full endorsement of the presumptive Democratic nominee. However, many loyal followers of Sanders, including progressive media figures and campaign surrogates, have resisted coalescing behind the former vice president, pointing out various policies, as well as the newly surfaced sexual assault allegation made by former Biden staffer Tara Reid. Oh, my God. Seriously. Like, it's not. No. See, here's the thing. It can't. That is not going to carry the same weight as the uh, Kavanaugh thing did primarily because, yeah, Me Too's dead. So (laughs) one of those supporters, progressive combinator Kyle Kalinske, told critics who are pressuring the left to unify that they could blame him if President Trump defeats uh, Biden in November. (laughs) Yeah, Kalinske's all angry. Like, like, yo, like that just the butt hurt. The butthurt and and the lack of foresight is just astounding. As a left winger who will not vote for Biden, I want you to know I'm 100% okay with you blaming me if Trump, when Trump wins, sorry, Kyle, but when Trump wins a second term, I mean it, blame me, then get to thinking real hard on how you're going to get me to support your candidate the next time. Maybe even ask me, I'll tell you, Kalinsky exclaimed. We shouldn't be defensive about this. If they're blaming us for Trump, that's an admission that they need us to win. If they need us to win, then they need to start making concessions. Own it. So that sparked a reaction from Intercept columnist Mehdi Hassan, who wrote to told Kalinsky, if you're okay with the white nationalists winning a second term, I question your left wing credentials. Ooh, ooh. (laughs) Baddest man hit my hand. (laughs) Reed appeared to agree with Hassan and went even further with her criticism. That what what this kind of thing says to me is that these are not left wing voters. They are privileged white voters who demand to be bowed down to. No different than Trump's voters who want those who are not white and Christian to take the knee to for them like in the good old days. Re oh my what good old days? Like yo, like, like you want your family like yo, that's not your history. Like that's the funny thing about the past two hundred of two hundred years of American history is that i mean of damn near none of us were here for it but <laughs> but the uh fact that like oh yeah you're sitting here like you're sitting there right joy reed and you're in your position of privilege make absolutely no mistake about it you're, you're in you're at you're at the galas and you're doing the whole you know media figure thing and you want to sit here and pretend like and, and but the deal is that that history that you're talking about where it's like oh my goodness yeah they, they go and beat them down that's not your history that's not your family history. So how about you just be grateful for where you're at right now pre- and, and, and take solace for that, take solace in that. But no, 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 no. You want us to hear like, oh, well, white people in America have been so bad to other black people that, you know, I ha- now have a reason to sit here and just like jump all over, you know, people for being white. Like, no, no, that's not how that works. 
That's not how that work at all. So that, that shit, man, like, like I said, this is the last gasp of the identity politics, uh, you know, really ruling the day from here on out where we should be united under the, under the flag of the United States. And if you're not, if you don't want to be under that flag, cool, but guess what? No one should ever take you seriously about anything. Cause you're not even concerned about the, the best interest in the future of the country going forward. Golly. Read tweet Monday. These are voters whose primary concern is that everyone else kneel. That's it. Kneel. Or they threaten the rest of us with the endless torment of Trumpism. That's the thing. You're the one that's being tormented. That and that's your own narcissism. That's your like the guys, this is how the female brain work. Like, like they'll sit there, create a problem in their own head and have that entire problem play out <laughs> within their head. Whereas the rest of the world don't even know anything that's going on with you. Like, bruh, <laughs> and then you try to explain it and we try to explain to you. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe that's you. Maybe there's something that's, that's wrong with you where you can't stop thinking about this man as because he ain't thinking about you. But nah, 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 nah. She said, man, she's just like, yes. Oh, we're being tormented by Trumpism. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> clowns bro clowns cage children that started during obama viral death poverty which oh yeah oh you're blaming trump you're blaming poverty on oh my goodness yeah okay when it comes to poverty guys it's a state and the local thing i've done videos please go check the official like the official channel i've done videos on how um you know how that works on how the states need the impoverished areas to remain impoverished and the and the people of the impoverished areas the the the, the monarchy is set up there uh they need that to continue to go so the state will continue to give them money and it's like a it's a never ending circle um, <laughs> what voter suppression muslim bans of course none of this harms or impacts them this this broad yo seriously read more she continued well here is reality no one's going to kneel those who get the danger of trumpism are going to vote and find enough fellow voters committed to doing the right thing the danger to living breathing people is real <laughs> like, it's, it's real every day <laughs> Like this, this is danger every day. Like y'all, like that's the thing that kind of blows my mind is how like it, it's always about fear. It's always oh my goodness, you, we need to be so scared about what could possibly happen and all the things that they sat there and screamed about and like really didn't. So what are you talking about? Like yo, we just take this day by day. That's why I do videos every day because this is a day by day life is a day by day thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to remain consistent but she's ridiculous man the danger to live and breathe and people is real most don't have the luxury to power over their preferred candidate oh my goodness you do i mean you do and that's exactly what you're going to do when biden takes this l in november so really like like you're just like honestly in in november we're going to be able to switch out every everything else and and replace it uh and replace joy and replace uh kalinsky and everybody with joy reed watch reed also acknowledged that yes of course there are non-white voters who fall into this category as well noting that she met a black mother and daughter who voted for the green party in 2016 because of their dislike for hillary clinton on Monday, Sanders campaign national press secretary Brianna Joy Gray, like seriously, like come on media, like stop giving this chick oxygen, announced that she would not endorse the former vice president following the senator's own declaration. Who cares? Seriously, it's not like you were the candidate. You were like the press secretary um, with the utmost respect for Senator Sanders, who is an incredible human being and a genuine inspiration. I don't endorse Joe Biden. Great role. I supported Bernie Sanders because he had backed ideas like Medicare for all canceling all student debt. You notice how she put uh, all caps on that all student debt. Right. And the wealth tax. Biden supports none of those. And I've actually fallen off of the cancel the student debt thing. I believe that um, there is there. They, I, I believe that there is a way that we could work with you know like uh being able to help people get rid of their student debt but as far as canceling it it's an obligation that you took out and when you got all these single mothers and stuff like that like there's this report that was done where it's like yeah uh most females don't even think that they have to pay their student loans back it, it, it was it was hilarious it's insane i might do a video on it I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go and look for that video maybe possibly do a video on it you guys let me know in the comments but what we're witnessing like i said what we're witnessing is the last gasp of identity politics being playing a part a, a prominent role in you know in in the culture because ultimately 
we do need to uh, coalesce under one flag and it can't be under the president it can't be under like you know any one particular person it has to be under the the flag of the united states you either with us or you're against us i mean like no offense to my uk and australian brothers and stuff like that but it, it is like the, these borders exist for a reason we do have our own set of people here that we should be taken care of like without question but it, it, there becomes that um particularly when it, when it comes to the left and the whole open borders and oh yeah let everybody in and, and sanctuary state shit it's just like bro like hold on what can we afford though like there, there's there's uh, a lines and in many cases in many spaces particularly here in new jersey those lines have been crossed several times over and it's time to start peeling it back and so it's going to be very interesting to see how everything plays out but as per usual i'll be here with you every day we won't be talking about this stuff because i love this shit it's amazing <laughs> So, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it, like this, like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you don't like. Aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons? Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Did, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like, right? Like, yo, we can't keep playing this whole identity politic bullshit. The only identity that we should really be rocking behind is our country's identity. And and and, and if you want to microcosm that, we can uh, operate behind the identity of being of the state, right? You know what I'm saying? Then the identity of the county, the municipality, then the identity of the locality and the policies in each and every individual loca locality, which, you know, like what's going to help you out the best? Like I've been going at um, Congressman Payne's neck over Facebook for the past couple of weeks um, because as things as that worm starts to churn, turn from, and people and companies are coming back from China, honestly, to the 10th district, that's the one I live in, in the 10th district, we should be getting jobs here. We should be getting making sure that, hey, we can uh our populace has real solid and good work to come to 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 to, to be able to you know pay and take care of themselves with we can't keep relying on government for stuff we can't keep demanding the government to take care of things because that's just not the case that's just not that's just not how liberty works baby and we're americans right but you may disagree and if you do that's what my comment section's for until the next one